Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2024, and we are here in the booth of Gleamer. We are here with Gleamer executive Daniel Jones. Daniel, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me, Brian. Yeah. So, Daniel, can you tell us a little bit about Gleamer and maybe like what the, what the clinical, cha clinical challenges that you guys are addressing? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, Gleamer is a radiology AI company um, focusing on developing AI applications for the full radiology workflow with our new um, Gleamer Copilot. Um, the clinical challenge is quite is quite broad. Um, you know, there's been a massive shortage of radiologists over the past few years, and um, we know that a, we need AI to assist the radiologists with their day-to-day -day work. Um, so that's why we're focused on trying to cover the full radiology workflow with a unified experience as well. Great. Now, some of your first uh, AI applications have addressed fracture detection, yep. but uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about that. But I guess that you guys are apparently expanding out of that into other AI applications, but let's start with fracture detection. What do you guys offer there? Yeah, absolutely. So um, we started our journey back in 2017, and um, one of our co-founders, actually, um, Noura Dean, is a musculoskeletal radiologist. And um, he was um, really kind of driven towards focusing the company on the development of musculoskeletal radiology applications with bone fracture, because it's such, um, it's such a, a high miss in emergency departments, and it creates a lot of work for the radiologist with recalls, etc., as well. So um, we we have quite a comprehensive application for uh, bone fracture, bone trauma detection that covers fractures, effusions, dislocations and bone lesions across the appendicular and axial skeleton, just excluding the cervical spine and the skull for a population of adults and peds. It's slightly different for the FDA in the US, so it covers fractures and effusions, um, again, across the, um, the full body, excluding the C-spine and the skull, um, and a population of adults and peds, pediatrics for extremities. So it's really quite broad. Yeah, very good. Now, you guys have had a pretty busy year. What have been some of the milestones that you've hit this year? Yeah, so um, we have a lot of key milestones, actually. So um, where we are today, we actually today have almost 100 employees. Um, across. We are working across 2,000 institutions in 40 different countries. Um, we're heavily focused on the research um, and development as well. So we have 80 clinical, over 80 clinical studies running at the moment as well. And, and you guys recently announced a foundation model, correct? We did a recently uh, announce a foundation model. So um, outside of that, we've been heavily focused on the development of new applications, being the breast view application, the lung CT and the bone CT applications. Um, but the We've been working on a proprietary foundation model that's trained on or pre-trained on um, several million images. Wow, that's so amazing. Huge data set. Yeah. And what do you think folks will use that for? Um, so what, um, the, what the foundation model does is, um, is, well, actually, our internal study, studies have showed that at, um, we can achieve the same level of performance with four times less labeled data. So what that does for us is it drastically speeds up the development process um, and the development timeline for the new applications. Um, we have our Breastview application, which we believe will be the first radiology AI application to be based on a foundation model. And then our chest view application for thoracic pathologies on chest x-ray, um, the next version of this model will be, will be trained based on the foundation model um, as well. Very good. And, and so as you mentioned earlier, you know, you've, you've got your roots in fracture detection, but you're expanding out into oncology and yeah. other things like that. When might we see something coming from there? Yeah, so um, we have actually today just announced uh, an 18 million euro overall investment into our oncology CT applications, which we've named OncoView. Um, this is partially funded by the French government Scientific Excellence in Digital Health Fund, um, and uh, we will be working on this over the next um, over the next sort of 12 to 18 months. But we will kind of early next year be releasing the first applications in the OncoView suite, being our lung CT and bone CT applications. The lung CT application for lung lesion detection on um, on cross-sectional imaging, and then the bone CT application for secondary metastasis yeah. detection. Great. Anything else we can look forward to seeing from Gleamer in 2025? Uh -huh. A lot of things. I uh, really think you should watch this space um, at RSNA next year. It might be a little bit bigger. <laughs> All right. Great advice. Daniel Jones, thanks so much for being with us. Absolute pleasure, Brian. Thanks so much. Signing off for the Imaging Wire, my name is Brian Casey. Thank you.